Hi guys, I'm here to do a product review. Actually, it's going to be, um, I'm going to be reviewing two products and then I'm going to compare them together. Just um, because I decided to try a new leave-in conditioner the other day and um, I decided to come and tell you guys about it. So the first product that I'm going to be reviewing today is my beloved, the Giovanni Direct Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I have used, I have been using this conditioner for a while now. I've been using it ever since I did the review on Vitacause.com where you can pick this up for about $4.50. And ever since then, I've been using this. This is my third bottle. So, yeah, <laughs> I've been using this for a little while. And I really love this conditioner comparing to all the um, the other conditioners that I've used. I, this is, I think, the first one that was um, pretty much all organic. And I love it because it's um, weightless. It's a creamy conditioner. My hair loves creamy conditioners because my hair is very thick. So the creamier, the better. When it comes down to the conditioner, I use the Kimmy, the Kimmy tube method, which is um, I add the castor oil, the um, jojoba oil, and the um, aloe vera juice to it, and it's, it helps me stretch stretch out my product. It's, um, it's very beneficial for my hair. I have really nothing bad to say about this product. The only reason why I tried another one is because I was curious about the next product that I'm going to review. But with that said, this is I only have good things to say about the Giovanni um, Direct Leave-In. You can pick this up at um, Vitacause.com, as I say, stated previously, um, for a discounted rate. Normally at Whole Foods, this is about $7. A lot, I know many naturals that use the Giovanni Direct Leave-In anyway. It's very popular, I think. Um, it's a staple for many naturals because um, it's a great product. I have tried their other um, conditioner, which is a 50-50 balance or something like that, I think. I don't really like it. I mean, it's not bad, but I didn't, it, didn't really, it didn't really do much for me. I prefer the Jane Carter um, conditioner because that one, I love the way it smells, and I could deep condition with it. But other than that, this conditioner is wonderful. And on to the next one. <laughs> the next product that I'm going to review is this. Yay. Anyway, I went to Target the other day, and I've heard so much great things about this conditioner, the Kinky Curly Not Today. It is so popular amongst naturals. I've heard nothing but great things. And I'm happy to say that I have nothing but great things to add. I decided to give it a try and use it. I only used it once, as you guys can see. I also did the Kimmy, the Kimmy tube method with this one, and um, I loved it. It actually, I, I have, I have to say, um, I, it smelled wonderful. It gave my hair great slip. I was able to detangle my hair very quickly. And I have really nothing, there's nothing bad that I can say about this leave-in conditioner. The only thing, to me, all the pros for this conditioner, it's a great product, it's organic, um, it detangles your hair, it gives you great slip, everything good. The only thing that I can say about this is the price. It's $11 at Target, I think $11.99 or something like that. Um, it's not that expensive because I have paid that much money for my hair products before. But the reason why I think it's, to my opinion, it's um, a bit pricey because I'm so used to spending less money on my Giovanni. So when I, the $11 kind of turned me off. And also because this product will probably only last me two months. It's about eight ounces in here. This will last maybe, yeah. This was I only I wash my hair every two weeks, and I do a leave-in every two weeks. So this will probably last me um, two months. So four dollars every two months with the Giovanni, eleven dollars every two months with this one. But I must say that comparing to the if, when I compare the two products, now I'm trying to do the comparison with them too. The Giovanni, in my opinion, although it's much cheaper and it's organic as well, this um, conditioner gave me better slip and I was able to detangle my hair faster and quicker. Like I detangle it only, I only, 
I didn't have to part my hair in, in many small sections. Usually I have to part my hair in little tiny sections and spray with a water bottle, put the um, leave-in, and then kind of work my way through and then add my, you know, oil and then um, braid it up. This one, I parted my hair in four sections. I applied this conditioner to one, detangled that whole big section and braided it up. Like, I, I didn't have to, it didn't take me, it took, I would say, I think that it took me about five minutes or ten minutes to detangle my whole hair, which normally takes me 30 minutes. So if you're a person that's on the go, and or you don't have that much patience when it comes down to your detangling process, or what have you, I would definitely rec recommend um, getting the Kinky Curly Knot today as opposed to the Giovanni, or because... Even though it's more expensive, it definitely does what it says. It it, it says it's a leave-in and a detangler. It definitely helps detangle your hair. And it's also a leave-in, so you can't really beat that. And it's a creamy product. So um, those are the pros for me. The only thing was the price. Um, I don't really want to spend that much on a conditioner. But I will say this, if the Giovanni was $11 and this one was $11, I will definitely go for this one because in my opinion, because of the detangling aspect of this product, I will definitely go for this one. But because this one is only $4 and I have the patience to detangle my hair, I will probably use this more often than I use this one, but I will definitely fluctuate between the two because I love both of them equally. So this is my comparison slash review on both the Kinky Curly Not Today and the Giovanni Direct Leave-In. Hope you guys enjoy my um, quick review and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.